hi guys we're back with another video and today we're going to be doing my budget with me for my paycheck my first paycheck of october don't mind my nail it still is messed up i've been very busy um but i promise next the next video you guys will see i will either have this nail fixed or have all these nails taken off because i'm in a mood to just take the nails off at this point but um yes so we are going to be doing a budget with me today so i do plan for my paycheck to be about 11.50 maybe a little more maybe a little less but i'm planning it for it to be a minimum of 11.50 so these i have all of my categories here these here are all my bills slash apartment um sinking funds and then these are my high priority sinking funds my low priority sinking funds these are all my saving challenges and these are the envelopes that are in my wallet okay so i had to get something out of my safe really quickly that i need for this um stuffing um my saving challenges okay sorry about that okay so first we're gonna be starting first thing i like to do is i like to start with the categories that i know that i have to give money to so i know that i have to give 35 dollars to phone because my phone bill is $70 a month. So I do $35 per paycheck. And this is actually supposed to be going down. So I'm budgeting for $35. Because my bill haven't came out yet. It was supposed to generate. Usually it generates the 5th or the 6th. But it didn't generate. So um, it should be generated by the time I get paid. Which will be next Friday. Um, so this $35 may be lower by the time my cash stuffing actually comes out. But for the time being, I'm just going to keep it at 35 Subscriptions is going to be getting $15. I've, I usually give it 10 but I've been giving it $15 lately because it's always some miscellaneous um, subscriptions that's coming out of the blue. So next is rent and rent is going to be getting 250 so i usually give it um to i what i plan to do with my new budget for um rent and my apartment binder is i plan to one week one paycheck give it 250 and one paycheck give it 200 because i kind of want to alternate between rent and my birthday um so like one week i'll give rent 250 and then give my birthday 100 and then one week i'll give rent 200 and give my birthday 150 so that's kind of how i want to do my budget um so yeah um lights always gets 45 and wi-fi always gets 35 next moving into my sinking funds um i know that i want to stuff 150 dollars for my birthday because i only stuffed 100 last time and then i know for a fact that i want to give 50 dollars to beauty because i do plan on getting my nails re either a fill-in or getting a fresh full set so 50 dollars should definitely be enough so that's all i have for so far now we're going to move into, I know that I want to do my saving challenges. So, um, first up is my Friday saving challenge, which is what I had to get. So, I am doing um, April, this whole month of April for this paycheck. So, that's 7 plus 14 plus 21 plus 28. You guys can see it right here. So that's $70 that I have to give to my Friday saving challenge. And then my other saving challenge that I'm going to be doing is this Hello Spring Challenge from Budget with Mama Bear. I got this a long time ago. Obviously, I got it during spring, but I had never did it. So I kind of want to do it now because if you haven't noticed, I've been doing smaller saving challenges because bigger ones i kind of get discouraged and i give up on them so i've been wanting to do small ones um 
for a little while just so I can feel like I'm accomplishing something because you get done with them a little faster and they're a little easier to do, especially with my budget lately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into sections. So for this paycheck, I'm going to do this section right here. And it's, it, as you can see, each of them are worth $5. So 5 10 15 20 and 25 is what I'm going to be putting into this challenge this time. And this challenge is only $60, so I should finish it rather quickly. Um, so the, then the dollar challenge is if I have any dollars left over. And then um, next we're going to move into our cash envelopes. So I know that I have to give 140 to Afterpay. And I know that I want to give $40 to spending. And I always give Uber $50, which I leave in the account. So you guys never really see that money. But if you guys were wondering, that's what I keep in the account. So um, next thing I know is that I want to... Um, for miscellaneous, I have to give miscellaneous a hundred dollars because um, I have to pay for me to get some new contacts. Um, usually, my insurance gives me contacts one time per year, and my insurance doesn't renew until December so that I can get the free contacts. And I ran out of contacts, so I have to pay it before December. Which I'm super sad about because it's December is so close. So I do have to pay that $100. So I'm just going to take it right out of this check. Instead of trying to wait and save it up. I need contacts. So we're going to be putting 100 And I don't have a medical envelope. So we're just going to put that straight into miscellaneous. And then $85 I have to put into gym. Because um, my membership is due. Um, and then I, my annual fee um, is going to be due as well and that is $50 so those are all the things that I know that I have to give money to and I know that I have to pay you guys can see so after I do that then I just take eleven fifty and minus everything from that so minus 35 minus 15 minus 250 minus 45 minus 35 Minus 150, minus 100, minus 50, minus 85, minus 25, minus 70, minus 140, minus 40, minus. Minus 50. Okay, so we have $60 left. Okay, and. Um. I do want to give a little money toward my wallet because I've been spending a lot of money on like eating out and going out and stuff. So usually I will put that, I will take that 60 and divide it up between my different singing funds. But I'm actually going to be putting that money into my wallet. So I'm going to put 20 into eating out, 20 into night out, and then 10 in miscellaneous and 10 in toiletries. And that is the $60. So, um... That's how I'm doing my budget this time. I'm not really giving a lot of money to my sinking funds because I have a lot of things that I need to pay for. So if I didn't have to pay for my contacts or pay for my membership, then I'll be able I would have been able to give that money to my sinking funds. But um that's just the reality of cash stuffing. Sometimes you have things that you need to pay for, and I also want to add to my saving challenges. So that's another reason why I wasn't really able to add um, to my sinking funds. But um, there is a couple people that owe me some money. So if they do give me my money back, then of course I'll add that into the cash stuffing and divide it up into my saving challenges. But I'm not really budgeting for that money because um, you never know when someone's going to pay you back or if they are going to pay you back. So that's why I'm not really budgeting for it. I'm really just budgeting for my check. And then if they give it to me, then I'll budget for it. But that's all we have for... That's all we have for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys... What you guys think of this video. Comment down below if you guys like these videos. I didn't do one last week. Um, 
but I kind of like I like doing these and I'm really not sure if you guys like seeing them but I kind of like doing these so you guys kind of know like where I get my numbers from and why I add what I add to the envelopes so um yeah that's all we have for today guys like comment and subscribe um I appreciate all of the support and love and the comments that you guys give me and I'll see you guys next Saturday bye